For any product in the market, the initial bookings offer a great perspective of the consumer's interest in the product as also the brand. 1500 initial bookings for a new vehicle may not sound like a great deal, but put that in the context of electric vehicles and the fact that this is a global manufacturer launching only its second product in the Indian market. Moreover, we are talking about a premium electric SUV priced at Rs 34 lakh and then you start thinking otherwise. Buoyed by the success of its first launch in India, the E6 5-seater MUV, BYD India is a confident young automaker sure of making its mark in the Indian market. Its newest launch, the Atto 3 electric SUV, has been built with the right ingredients. Advanced technologies, promising range, assured safety and attractive looks. BYD India invited us recently to experience the vehicle before customer deliveries commence in the first week of January 2023. And we are driving the BYD Atto 3 today somewhere between Chennai and Puducherry on the East Coast Road. And in this video, we are going to bring you every detail of this vehicle and tell you what makes it special. Chinese automaker BYD Auto has been in the news around the world for all the right reasons. It was not only the top selling car brand in China in the first four weeks of November, but continued to lead the global EV market during Q3 2022. As a matter of fact, as reported by Global Trackers, BYD Auto also managed to widen its gap with the second placed Tesla in the global passenger electric vehicle sales. Recently, the company also rolled out its 3 millionth new energy vehicle. This data is extremely relevant from the perspective of how NEVs are finding increasing acceptance among consumers world over. BYD reached the milestone of selling its first million NEVs in 13 years. The second million took just one year and from 2 million to 3 million in just six months. Currently, BYD's new energy vehicle footprint extends to over 400 cities across 70 countries and regions on six continents, including markets such as Norway, Germany, Japan, Thailand, Brazil, and India. The company says it has always adhered to the two new energy routes of pure electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids in parallel. Underpinned by the company's cell-to-pack battery technology, which uses long-format lithium ferrous phosphate blade cells, new models from BYD have enabled the company to improve its competitiveness. The BYD Eto3 is built on the company's all-electric platform known as ePlatform 3.0. In fact, the Eto3 is the first model in India to be built on this platform, which has been exclusively designed for the next generation of pure EVs with a bleed battery. 8-in-1 high-efficiency electric powertrain and wide temperature range heat pump system in addition to other core technologies. All of that combines to deliver fast charging of 0 to 80 percent in 50 minutes, a range of 480 kilometers under any DC, and 521 kilometer as per ARAI tests, with a higher battery capacity of 60.48 kilowatt hours and a cleaned 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration in 7.3 seconds. Sanjay Gopalakrishnan, Senior Vice President, Electric Passenger Vehicle Business, BYD India, said. These are comforting factors from a consumer perspective. Second is the e-platform mm. technology, which I think uh, now the consumers have started to understand how big BYD in terms of you know technology and integration. Yeah. So I think, and plus the safety features, it has got a Euro NCAP 5-star safety rating for the car, right. which has add, also added to the safety of the car sure. and including the EDAS level 2, even though people don't, customers don't use EDAS, but they know there is some fa safety feature which takes care of them in the drive. Mm. So I think all these factors put together have given the customer comfort and a differentiating factor from other EVs. The Blade battery in particular is a massive innovation coming from BYD. Considered one of the safest batteries for EVs, the Blade battery features singular cells that are arranged together in an array and then inserted into a battery pack. 
The battery pack structure is optimized in a manner that space utilization is increased by over 50% compared to conventional lithium iron phosphate block batteries. Moreover, during nail penetration tests, BYD claims the blade battery emitted neither smoke nor fire after being penetrated and its surface temperature only reached 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. Under the same conditions, a ternary lithium battery exceeded 500 degrees Celsius and violently burned. And while a conventional lithium iron phosphate block battery did not openly emit flames or smoke, its surface temperature reached dangerous levels of 200 to 400 degrees Celsius. The blade battery also underwent and passed other extreme test conditions, such as being crushed, bent, being heated in a furnace to 300 degrees Celsius and overcharged by 260%. This resulted in a fire or explosion, claims the company. Secondly, the 18-1 electric powertrain, which comprises of drive motor, motor controller, reducer, onboard charger, DC converter, high voltage distribution box, vehicle controller, and the battery management system, results in a claimed 20% size reduction, 15% weight reduction, which results in overall efficiency to exceed 89%. The e-platform or whatever you call it, I think we have an 18-1 powertrain wherein the charger, DC-DC charger, because uh, in some of the EVs, it's all separately, you know, right. separately right. put. Here right. it is integrated in one unit. Hmm. So what it ultimately drives it, it is easy to repair. Okay. You don't have to open every single part. Sure. You just, through our VDS software, you can recognize where is the problem and hmm. you can just handle only one part completely and you can change it. Okay. Or you can repair it or you do some minor corrections. And it is, I think, uh, world's first mass-produced electric powertrain 18-1. Sure. There we are producing almost 2 lakh, 3 lakh per month in terms right. of this thing. And it also increases the efficiency of the car. Mm. You know, almost 90% efficiency it gives us. Okay. Which finally translates into range. That mm. is what the final customer mm. needs. Mm. So, even though it might be too technical a term, but I think finally the customer advantages, it gives you ease of, Correct. you know, uh, ease of handling any problems. While the structural safety of the battery is inbuilt, the e-platform, the chassis and the subframe structure is all integrated. The e-platform also works as a you know, safety structure along with the battery. So I think all these three put together gives you maximum safety for the occupant mm. and the passengers in terms mm -hmm. of this thing. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest advantage what we have achieved with the blade battery and the e-platform is the integration and so that the proper chemistry works. And even if something happens to the blade battery, there is no thermal, uh, you know, thermal incidence because of low, no oxygen release and the surface temperature remaining up to 60 degrees centigrade. Okay. And the okay. e-platform also helps us to, e-platform and the blade battery also helps us to work in a temp wide range of temperatures, right. you know, from minus 20 to 60 degrees mm -hmm. centigrade mm -hmm. because of the heat distribution system which happens automatically. Sure. The e-platform 3.0 is also an intelligent platform deeply integrating the driving, braking, and steering systems, says the company. Importantly, the BYD Eto3 also comes with intelligent driving systems and multi-sensor layout with the BYD DiePilot L2 driving assist system. The DiePilot system is BYD's proprietary ADAS system, and on the Eto3, BYD has offered quite a few such assist systems, including automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, door open warning, lane departure warning, and lane departure prevention. In addition, a robust body steel structure, seven airbags, 360 degree view monitor, tire pressure monitoring system, ABS, ESP, EBD, and traction control system are some of the other safety features that adorn the ATO3. From a technology standpoint, the BYD ATO3 clearly stands out. In fact, the vehicle stands out even in terms of the way it is packaged and the way it looks, both from the outside and inside. The overall build quality, materials used in the interiors, fit and finish are top quality. The interiors, in fact, get some really quirky additions. The dumbbell style AC vents, the grip style door handles look and work fine. However, the door trim with strings can have opinions divided. 
functionality wise though the strings can hold one liter water bottles adequately and of course there is a panoramic sunroof that extends well into the second row of seats and byd india claims it is the largest in the segment oh by the way there is a large 12.8 inch touchscreen that rotates at the touch of a button it is feature rich intuitive and easy to use there is no apple carplay and android auto though from a driving perspective, the BYD Eto3 suspension feels pliant overall and the ride quality overall is pretty good. The steering is responsive too. The BYD Eto3 is an impressive product on all counts and trying to find major faults with it would mean nitpicking. With a good product in hand, it is important for us to understand how the company is assessing the opportunity in the Indian market. Sanjay responds. So I think today, uh, as of today, the penetration levels are close to 2% of the total PV market in mm -hmm. India. Uh, global indications, global studies, you know, a lot of consulting studies, internal studies have told that the, the, the penetration levels up to 5% is what the difficult challenge is. Mm -hmm. Post 5%, then it takes off on a different trajectory. Okay. That is what has been noticed in most of the countries. All right. So India is also, you know, going through a similar phase, mm. you know, as we started, you know, maybe a decade back in mobile phones right. or the smartphones, where right. initially it was a very slow and once it picked off, then we became the largest in, sure. in the world sure. because of the sheer size of the economy and sheer size of the population. Mm -hmm. So similarly, trajectory we are expecting 2%, maybe it will go to 5% in mm -hmm. the next one or two years mm -hmm. and then it will take off. And I think by that time, 2025 may be the inflection point because by that time you will have a lot of OEMs coming with various uh, products right, right. which will allow the customers to have a choice, mm. wider choice. Today you don't have choice. Correct. Like in an IC engine market where you go to a showroom, you will have 10 cars to choose from Very or 10 true. variants to choose from. Mm. So maybe 2025 onwards, the same thing will happen in EV. Maybe okay. it will be less, but at least he will have, instead of three, he will have 10 vehicles to choose from. Sure. So naturally the penetration will go up. Right. The charging infrastructure starts going up by the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So the EV penetration starts happening. Mm -hmm. So guess estimates from our side is by 2030, we expect between 25 to 30 percent of the total PV market to be EVs. EVs. At a okay. optimistic scenario, All if right. everything goes right. As a global manufacturer, BYD wants to be number one in every country it enters. Even in India, its ambition is to capture at least 25 to 30 percent of the total EV market by 2030. By that time, of course, the company would be looking at enhancing its product portfolio across different segments. Where are those pockets of opportunity? We asked Sanjay. The pockets of opportunity, SUV is definitely there, whether mm -hmm. it's a small SUV, big SUV, mid-size SUV, mm -hmm. different forms. Mm -hmm. MPV is a market where possibly the it could be a B2B dominated segment because okay. a lot of the fleet customers are right. now turning into EVs because of their clients requirements. Sure. The multinational clients are looking at converting their fleet into EVs because mm -hmm. of their global RE100, you know, carbon no COP26 norms. Right. So all this put together are, are, allow, are forcing them to convert their vehicles into EVs in a big, big right. way. Right. So I think that is a very segment which which is a continuous segment which is grow, going right. on. You know? And then of course there are multiple opportunities in small hatchbacks or bigger sedans, you know, where there are possibilities. So from our portfolio, we have a wide range of portfolios. So mm -hmm. we, can, we can explore many portfolios depending upon how the market is shaping. As the company grows and builds its presence in the country, it realizes that range anxiety and the charging infrastructure will continue to be very challenging. Sanjay believes charging infrastructure is where BYD as a company will have to tie up or help the ecosystem grow. BYD India is already associated with public charging infrastructure partners such as ChargeZone and Baltic and have also tied up with home charging partners to ensure customers are taken care of. For now, it is also planning to put up fast charges at BYD dealerships, not just for BYD customers, but for EV customers of other companies as well. Mm -hmm. We will also put up infrastructure at our workshops because right. customers normally come to the workshop so that there is a peace of mind. So I think, mm -hmm. uh, and then with the public, with the partnership with fast charging partners, we will try to expand the fast charging network along with the fast charging partners. I think 
all the OEMs are doing a bit sure. so that you know the fast charging infrastructure is adequately oh, right. available in the country. Right. Yeah, and also as you to, as you see today, it's not that you know uh, a competitive OEM is putting up a fast charging at their dealership. It is mm. open to all customers. All customers. It doesn't restrict it to only one brand customer right. because they know it's a you know uh, it's a space where all of us have to jointly work right. to achieve the desired EV penetration levels. Right. By the next year. BYD India plans to sell a total of 15,000 units, including the Atto 3 and the E6 MUV. In terms of its network, the company is aiming to set up 53 outlets or touch points by the end of 2023. Interestingly, of the 1,500 bookings that BYD India has received for the Atto 3, 40% are consumers who currently own Mercedes, Audi, and BMW vehicles, the company said. As a company, I think the EV penetration is the main thing which we are looking at. We hope, you know, everybody is bullish on India. So today the passenger vehicle volumes this year, I think is going to touch 3.8 million, yeah. Yeah. almost 22% growth compared yeah. to last year. Yeah. It could be because whatever happened in the last two years. Sure. So even if you look at a next seven, eight years, six to seven percent growth average, which means you will touch 5.5 million by 2030, mm -hmm. which is a huge number. I think we will become the fourth largest market in the world. Right. So if we are looking at 25-30% penetration means you are looking at almost 12, 10 to 12 lakh right. EVs per year which is 1 lakh per month. Right. Which is right. like a huge number huge for us. Number. So I think if you are able to capture 30%, 30,000, you mm. know, it's a mm. good start and good establishment of the brand. So I think EV penetration in India, that's what everybody is looking at globally. Mm. That's what I think it will drive our, you know, future plans and products in terms of into the Indian market. Globally, BYD Auto has been on some sort of a record spree, expanding aggressively into new markets, launching new products, leading sales charts of new energy vehicles, and building cutting-edge EV technology. Counterpoint Research, in its latest report, said BYD Auto remained the global market leader in Q3 2022, shipping more than 5,37,000 EV units at an increase of 197% year on year. More importantly, BYD's overseas operations have been picking up pace, selling almost 17,000 EV units across various regions, including Europe, Latin America, Southeast Asia, Middle East and Africa, and Oceania in Q3 2022. For BYD, which is an acronym for Build Your Dreams, things are just about getting started in the Indian passenger vehicle context. And talking of building dreams, BYD India surely is building really promising dreams.